Hello, it's Emma Jo here from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to make frog fairy wing earrings. And you might have noticed I've got King Hopkins keeping an eye on me today. So let me show you what these earrings look like up close and personal without my head attached to them. Okay, so here we go. Close up. And if I do it like this, you get to see all the subtle colours that are just behind the earrings and the glitter that doesn't usually show up on film, you know? Love them, love them. And we've got a little bit of foil work on the back so that when you turn your head slightly, it'll catch your eye. Now, obviously, I've gone for colours that I like, so you might notice a fair bit of teal. I've no idea where that came from. Obviously, don't feel like you have to use teal. If you have other colours that you'd like to use, go ahead, make it your own. All of the things I've used today, I have bought from Lavinia Stamps. Now, each section will have a list of things that you will need, and hopefully, hopefully, you'll enjoy yourself. Enough talking here, let's get down to the business end. Right, so. So I've got this little bit of acetate that I've cut from the heat resistant acetate and um, I've cut it to size basically to accommodate a couple of the large wings. The reason being it sort of means that when you come to cutting out you've got less of a page to manoeuvre. I would still say leave you know make sure that you leave a bit at the top here because we're going to be doing something up here. Um, but now let's get to stamping. OK, so we've got the large fairy wing. I've popped it on an acrylic block and I'm bringing the Versamark over to my stamp. And I'm just gently tapping the Versamark on because I'm doing it this way around so that we don't flood the stamp with too much Versamark, which can make it a bit slip slidey, especially on acetate. I'm going to here and and I'm just going to press it gently. OK, I'm going in. OK, and a little bit of wow embossing powder. Okay, and let's get rid of this excess powder. Now I'm only using this black paper just so that you can actually see what I'm doing on camera because Versamark is clear and acetate is clear. You're going to think it's a bit like the Emperor's New Clothes, you know. One large fairy wing and one smaller one. And I know the stamp isn't absolutely perfect here, but you know what, that's gonna be fine once I've put the background behind it. Little bits like that I can make into an accent of color. So I'm not gonna stress over that. As you can see here, I have punched a hole. Well, I hope you can see, that's why I'm putting it on the black. So what I've done to achieve that, and I'll tell you for why, is I've used a white Posca pen and literally just decided that I'm going to put a hole there. So we're punching the hole first and cutting around the hole so that we know that that hole is going to work. OK, so this is what I'm going to do. I've just made a mark with my Posca pen. And lifting it up. I've chosen the smallest of my three hole punches. Usually it has a little indicator of how big the hole is but you can see from this one that it's quite a, a nice size okay and I'm just putting it here so hopefully you can see and it lines up quite nicely underneath like an exclamation mark and I'm just going to punch it okay and my plan is that I'm going to cut all the way around my wing but when I come to the top I'm going to cut around 
let me use something to point this out to you. I'm going to cut around the hole, okay? So we've now got this. Okay, so that is what that will look like eventually. When we put it on the finding, it will be like that. But first, we have to colour it. To colour it, we're going to have to turn these wings embossing side down. And I'm going to... I'm going to start by using a gold Posca pen and I'm just going to push it down and create a reservoir. I'm using my mat as a palette basically. And I've just added a little bit of water so it helps me move this around and just makes it easier. And there's no rhyme, no rule to this. You can be as random as you want. I'm going to just go straight down the edge of that leaf, uh, wing, wibble, and um, do a couple of random bits there. Now, if you can you see now why I wasn't that worried about the pattern? because it, it allows the gold to come through a bit more and that's that's fine. So I'm going to do more or less the same thing on that side. Okay. And I'm sure you're going to be wondering how on earth are we going to do what's going in the white bits? Well, never fear. So it's going to be Liquid Pearls Mermaid. Holding on to the little acetate ring, which I found quite handy because it stops stuff from moving. I'm just filling in the bits that I didn't colour with the gold. With this liquid pearl mermaid. I'm going to need a little bit more of that mermaid, I think. But there's some natural mixing happening here which is nice. I don't know if you can see it, but as the gold and the liquid uh, liquid pearl meet, they're creating another shade all on their own. And it's a sort of greeny, almost lime green, but not quite. So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. What I'm going to do now is, using my heat gun, I'm just going to give it a quick blast. Now what I would say is when you're heating this, the Posca will dry quite quickly, but the liquid pearl might bubble. Now as soon as it bubbles, stop. That's fine, you just have to tap it down, okay? To tie our frog into the colour scheme of the things that we're doing, I'm just going to make him spotty. So try with a steady hand as you possibly can. I'm going to give him three spots. One, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> right now we're on to foiling. This, I'm quite new to foiling, and this way anyway, and I have to say it's a breeze and I'm loving it. So here we go. I'm just going to quite liberally coat the back of this wing with the glue pen. Now the idea with the foil is really so that it's, it adds a flash of colour when you turn your head, you know, or when the back flips round. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, you know what, the distressed look is, is really quite effective. When it comes to foiling, the first thing you've got to do is actually heat up. I forgot about that. You have to heat up the glue so that it becomes tacky. So it's just literally a quick blast. Like that. And then you'll feel it. Can you hear my finger clicking off it? It's tacky. 
And now I'm just going to pop the foil on colour side up. It says use a burnishing tool, but I've only got a thumb, so that's what I'm using. Hocus pocus. Foil. Now there's still a few little bits there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen and just make sure that the edges have got enough of a coverage. But look at that, what a lovely shimmer. And I love the way the foil is going to just add a little flash of colour when you turn your head. Now, if you're anything like me, you can never have enough glitter, can you? And I feel like there's something missing here. So I'm going to put some glitter on and I am going to use icicle. OK, and I'm just going to put a blob. And use the old fashioned spatula, the finger. Okay, and you can see the glitter on there, bringing it to life again. If you don't think you've got enough on, go in for a second swipe. There is never enough glitter in the world. I'm going to get hold of my jump ring because this is the first step. And with one plow on one side, one on the other, I'm just going to twist it open like that. Can you see? So that... Um, I can fit these things on. OK, so don't need the plier to do this bit. I'm going to take my large wing because that's going at the back and that goes on first. Then I'm going to take the little wing because that goes on next. And then I'm going to take the frog. There we go. So now I'm going to close it like that and it's just a twist it's not a push and I'm just going to add a little bit of glossy accents now that was that came out as a bit of a dollop so I'm just going to take some of that away with my plier because I don't want all of that on there but you know what just a tiny little dollop that's all you need for peace of mind and I'm just going to pop that down there and get the hook for the earring. Again, I'm going to open it using pliers. Also helps you to be able to see what I'm doing. Because if my fingers got in the way, you wouldn't see anything. Okay, and now I'm going to twist it open. That way. And just pop the jump ring on. And twist it closed. I'm going to twist it. There you are. Now, as I dangle this earring, as I dangle this earring, um, it falls to the side. Well, I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist the loop at the end of the hook 90 degrees. So I'm just going to turn it so that it's now letting my frog dangle to the front. All right. And if you're concerned about that little fixing as well, then just or if you like me, don't want to take anything, leave anything to chance, just pop a little bit of glossy accents on there. If you cut, if you're worried that you're not going to have much control, what I do is I put a little blob on the side and just use my finger. It gives me more control. So what does that mean? Well, people, that means that we have made together a pair of frog fairy wing earrings. Yay! Well done. Give yourself a round of applause. You are superb. Well, I hope you enjoyed doing that as much as I did. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, as usual. Put me in a craft room. I'm a happy bunny. So, well done you. I'm wearing mine, as you know, from before. And I, I love them. I think I'm going to have to make some more in different colours as well. Anyway, as usual, pop any ideas or any comments in the post below 
and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care, everybody.